it's been a slight change of plan. I am obsessed. Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a very exciting video. I've been looking forward to filming this one for nearly a month now since the pain has arrived as you can tell by the title we're going to be painting the living room and just changing it up a little bit nothing drastic I have featured the paint colors in a previous two videos and um, i'm just really excited it's a really warm day today um so we've left the painting till as late as we possibly can so we're not doing it in the midday heat and um, zara actually wants to get involved as well so she said hang fire until she comes back from work and she can help but i need to essentially empty the living room. So that's task number one. Nothing really majorly changing other than the colours. Um, everything else is the same, same furniture. Yeah, everything's the same, same curtains. We've got some new cushion covers which I will show later on in the video but in terms of light fittings and everything else like that, it's still the same. So these are the painting supplies. Again, so happy that I didn't really need to get much because we have a lot of rollers from previous projects. We even had a dust sheet left in the cupboard from the last decor makeover, so that was super handy. I had some of these um, reusable plastic tubs as well. However, I did just nip out and get one of these really small rollers because I thought it would be really handy to roll this part of the window ledge because it's quite narrow. So that was just from being cute, it was like four pounds. Um, and I also picked up a 50 mil angled brush just because I feel like that's super handy for cutting in really smoothly and frog tip now <laughs> we are still undecided I feel like Zara is swaying more towards doing the half horizontal wall which I really do like the idea of I feel like that'll definitely make it look like it's like the most changed but I'm also just a little bit dubious because we have so many different lines in this room I don't know where we'd place the line because I wouldn't want it to you know, kind of look too liney, if that makes sense, because the glass has lines and we've got the actual frames of the lines. I don't know. It's it's something we'll definitely make a decision on. What I did see in the comments is people suggested doing it on a wall that we were either going to do the full dark colour or half. So what I'm thinking we could do is on this window wall here, actually just do the half line just to get an idea of what it's going to be like. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm putting off the inevitable. I essentially need to take everything out of this room pop it in my bedroom, in the hallway in Zara's bedroom, and then we're gonna get cracking. Okay, so the living room is very nearly empty. Oh, I just need to do the mirrors, actually. <laughs> mirror one and mirror two, just there. But yeah, it's very empty. So what we're gonna do is sandwich the two sofas together and then pop the dining table on top. So it just essentially just covers the whole space in the middle so we can work around. Look who's home. <laughs> Never in the way, my darling. Never in the way. <laughs> Sorry, we've lifted out the armchair and the bookcase. Mirrors are down, feels very echoey in here. Zara was never... <laughs> Zara was never the biggest fan of this green. I, I really did enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. However, I think the new one is gonna be a lot more muted. I think it's gonna be more easy on the eye. Yeah. I think this colour was... It's nice, but it's, it's very it's like... very green. Very green. But it's, it's called emerald green, which is like green like green. It's primary colour. Yeah. This new one is slightly more muted. It's called a grubby green. Um, so what we're thinking is, we're gonna go as tall as the door frame, not the top of the door frame, just where Zara is currently there. So Zara's measuring from the base of the floor to the top, and then we're gonna continue that line all the way along. So it's just gonna literally be just above the up lighters. So we're gonna do lighter on top, and then we're gonna go darker all the way to the floor, which we have done in Zara's bedroom. Mine was kinda like a split level wall, but I think the height will work, so it'll be cozy, but not too dark, if that makes sense. I get a lot of questions on how to get the perfect line, so this is how we did it. I used frog tape with a spirit level, tape measure, ruler and a pencil. If you have a laser level, that will be so much easier. First start by measuring out your level wall markings, mark out little etchings and then use the frog tape which is perfect for painting lines to mark out a perfectly even horizontal line 
open your paint of choice and then paint over the line so you get a beautifully crisp edge and the trick to getting the paint beautifully crisp also is peeling off the tape when the paint is wet not when it dries otherwise it takes the paint with it okay so sorry about the awful lighting i it's the best i can do because we are coming into the late evening hours now at six seven o'clock and this is where we're up to so we started on this wall because we thought we wanted to test if we liked the dark versus light. But this is the three quarter dark wall and I'm not gonna lie, we were a little bit skeptical when we first put the color on the wall because it was very dark. But obviously this is the darkest wall in the living room because the light is, this is rising east, this is west facing. We've decided that we're gonna continue it on this wall and all the way around Sorry, my camera's struggling to focus. We basically use the top point of the door and we love it. We really, really like it. I think it brings the cozy element, but also the height. So very happy with it. The paint is brilliant. Like the actual texture of it is so thick and it's going on so easily. Okay guys, we're gonna call it a day for today. As you can see, we've done the wall behind us, this wall, and this window wall too. It's quarter to nine, so we're literally gonna have a shower and head straight to bed because we're gonna be cracking on tomorrow. I'm so, so pleased with it. Things to note, really good coverage for coat paints, really good smell. The living room doesn't smell like paint, which is really good. Like usually it smells quite strong of paint, but it just doesn't. It's absolutely great. So just really impressed. So yeah, we're gonna just leave this as it is. We peeled off the masking tape halfway. We're just letting this dry a little bit more before we fully peel it off. But yeah, very, very happy with how it's came out. So it's the morning. I've just got back from the gym and the paint has dried overnight. It is dried beautifully, let me show you. Like you can get much of a better representation of what kind of color it is now, especially because it's such a bright blue sky day. This is the lightest it's gonna be in here. Sorry, my camera's really struggling to focus, but this is the color. So you can see the contrast between the gray sofa and the wall. So they describe it as a grubby green and say this is brewer. So I will leave it linked down below, but the color transfer is perfect. We're gonna give it a second coat just to really, really make sure that it isn't, you know, got any patches, but you could definitely get away with one coat for sure. Sorry about the lack of t-shirts. It's very, very warm in London. Sorry, it's home from work. Oh, look at the strobe. Oh no, I thought that was a strobe light. It's not that's the tip. Um, it's very warm in London, and we've finished the dark paint. It is officially done all the way around the room. And now we're starting on the top part, which is cargo. Do this, and then we're gonna give it a little stirry stir. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Good morning. So, there's been a slight change of plan. The amount of times I've watched videos on YouTube where people have thought paint was the perfect color and then they get halfway through and think, this is a lovely paint, but it's not the right paint for this room. So you can see behind us, we have the, the two split torn. And as much as we absolutely love this color, this is cargo on top, I'll show you it in a second. We, we did it, we put it on the wall and we're like, wow, yeah, this is really nice. But the more I was doing it, the more we both just were silent and we didn't say anything. So I did the whole entirety, we did the whole entirety. And then we sat down in the evening in here because we popped the TV on the, on the dining table just to watch it before we went to bed. And I looked at Zara and Zara looked at me and we both went, I don't think this is right. <laughs> But the thing is, you're never gonna know unless you try with these things. And we both came to the decision that it just wasn't the right color pairing. It's so difficult with the swatches before you put it on a full room to get an indication of what it's gonna be like. So this was the previous color, which 
kind of gave us an indication as to actually we just need something a bit more bright and not something that's as um, much like a, a neutral. So we're just gonna, all I'm going to do is tape up back along the line and then just repaint it all in white. So it literally will just look like it's continuing up. Same white as the ceiling, same white as the coven, just it will be all the way up. Which actually, when we were sat last night and had the TV here, <laughs> this is our makeshift lounge, um, it felt really cosy, which is nice. Um, and I, I just, we just both loved it. We felt like we were like cocooned in the colour. <laughs> Okay, we are done. That was a process. I am, I feel like my, my lap is like one lopsided. Like they are, everything hurts, everything aches. <laughs> I don't know why, but this has been, this has been a job and a half. And I'm so happy that we both decided to go back to the white. Maggie has been my painting companion. I just feel like the white makes it look so much more, like the contrast is so much better. I'm just really, really, really happy with the finish. I do have to do some slight touch-ups where I've taken the tape off, but only slight. I said to Zara this morning, I was like, that'll take about an hour. It's taken me three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I need to shower, because yet again, I've got more paint on me than the walls. And then I'm gonna leave it to dry, do the touch-ups, hoover, and put everything back in this place. Guys, I actually cannot tell you how much I am loving this corner. It was cozy before, but it's even more cozy now. I am loving it. You may remember this um, pheasant picture that I picked up at Wimbledon Antiques Market. Funny enough, <laughs> I've had Wimbledon on the whole time I've been doing the living room. Yeah, and I was kind of contemplating putting it on the wall, but now with this dark color behind it, I'm sold. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna pop that just there. I am loving that. That just looks so cozy. I can't wait to just snuggle up with a little book in the armchair. That's so nice. We've got a cushion, a new cushion cover to go on the um, cushion there. And then that corner is officially done. Okay, so we're going to do some cushion swap overs. So these are the ones that we bought in H&M. I haven't showed these yet. And um, we picked them up. Uh, when did we buy them? We picked them up back in May, the 25th of May. And they were a total of 21 41 for... Four, four, one, two, three, five cushion covers, which is pretty good going. These are really nice, comfy cushions. We love them. So these are the colours that we've gone for. We thought they'd contrast really nicely against the green, which, looking at it now, they're quite a similar colour to the lampshade. So we're going to do these ones on here. If they're still available online, I'll link them. Um, but we're going to do four of those. And then for this one here, I do like the tartan. But to tie it all together, we've got this one with tassels on. This was uh, $8.99, but also we had the H&M discount as well. So we're gonna swap them all over now. you enjoyed that little montage I'm going to talk through everything that we've done albeit very small I am obsessed obsessed with this room it's so nice so obviously the biggest change is that we've taken the full brewer color from Court paints all 
the way around the room. If you do remember that the darker wall was always here, but I'm glad we've been brave enough to take it all the way around and also on this wall too. It just really wraps the space and just makes it feel so, so cozy. It's really hard to give you like a full tour because I'm stood in the middle, but this contrast between the grey sofa and the colour on the wall and then the white, which just completely continues up onto the ceiling, it doesn't feel too dark in here at all. And I think, to be honest, this room could definitely facilitate having that colour all the way at the top towards the coven. One of the best things that we learned is that if you've got a bright room, you can go dark. And if you've got a darker room, don't try and brighten it up with like a white because it'll just look muddy and a bit, you know, wish washed. This white is very white and we love it. So yeah, everything's pretty much stay the same. Bookcase is from Ikea. The lamp is from Dunalm. This is like our cozy little reading nook. We didn't end up swapping out the cushion just yet for the cover that I showed you earlier because um, this cushion is slightly too small, so it's a bit bit limp, a bit saggy. <laughs> so we've kept the tartan and I actually think it looks quite nice. It looks very, very traditional. It's got a lovely little throw. This is a nice herringbone throw. We use that obviously more in winter when we're causing up reading. My fern is doing really well and this was a little Facebook marketplace find. Nice little antique side table. Armchair is from Facebook marketplace as well. This is from DFS. And then I hung the pheasant picture on the wall and I just love it. I think it's just really tied the space together perfectly. So this is our little reading nook. Mirror again was from a charity shop and the lovely gold candelabras were from H&M Home. And then down here we've got our logs just to fill out the fireplace, the little container. This was from Home Sense. And then these are our little candle jars that definitely need a clean. And um, they were from the White Company and just a charity shop. My little rubber plant is doing brilliantly. I'm so happy with this. It is loving life and it's got a new shoot, which means a new leaf will be coming very soon. Um, plant pot was just from B&Q and the plant stand was from Home Sense again. So happy with how the TV looks and it just fits in so, so well. It's literally, again, the shelf is still not level, but I cannot bring myself to drill back into these walls because they are so tough. So yeah, the shelf literally just floats above the TV, which is perfect. We just stripped the styling back completely on this, kept everything the same. This little pot was an antique find. I've got a lovely Soho home. I think it's a Verona candle in here. And the little candle cover was from Primark Home. I've just got some old books. And the picture frame was from a car boot sale. It's a very bright day, so it's quite tricky to show you, but we've got the lamp that I just picked up from Dunelm. And then we've got the glassware. And then underneath we have copious amounts of alcohol. Obviously moving around, this was the unit that we found and we've rehomed, just kept everything the same. It's just a really, really practical unit and we absolutely love the warmth of the wood, but then the contrast of the black, it works well with this mirror. This was from Cult Furniture. The sofas are out and out, obviously we've featured those before. New cushion covers are H&M Home. Obviously we've got the three-seater and then the two-seater version here. And then just moving around, the lamp was from Next and this dining table was a Gumtree find, actually. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Still going sturdy. We absolutely love it. Definitely might get around to re it soon. But um, for now, it's absolutely perfect. And just kept the styling really simple with two candelabras and some eucalyptus. I get a lot of questions about the eucalyptus. It is actually a mix of artificial and real. And the real has been dipped to preserve it. So it doesn't dry out as quick. The one thing that we aren't 100% on and I've had to really brighten up the light capacity on my camera is the curtains. Now... They are lovely and they were just a quick fix. However, I think with this space, blinds might actually be a better option, but that is not an our thing. Like I say, we didn't have plans to stay in this flat and obviously now we are, so hence the repaint. However, the curtains, as lovely as they are, they just I feel like it's just not the right vibe for the room now because we've got the green, it just looks a bit, I don't know, there's something about them. So we might repurpose those and pop them in Zara's bedroom because the ones she's got are on their last legs and we might look into getting some Roman blinds, like some roller Roman blinds, but that, like I say, is not a now thing because they are very expensive, so that'll be in months to come. If any of you do have any blind recommendations in the UK that do delivery, do let me know. Roman blinds, preferably. <laughs> but that's it, I really hope you've enjoyed this. It's been really not that much of a dramatic change, but I'm loving this backdrop. I feel like it just looks so nice 
And um, yeah, just all of the moon with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're making any changes in your space and what you plan on doing because I love hearing about that. But yeah, love to you all. Take care. I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.